Hey there everybody, my name is Heratoga and welcome to Vintage Story. We've got a lot to get done before bedtime, so I think we should get up on our feet and get on with things. But before we get going, let's bring up the map and see where we are. This is the world I've been generated in, and I increased my view range just to expand the view around my starting position a little bit more so we can have a good look at the map here. We're looking for some flat land so we can uh, settle down for the night. It looks a bit flat over here. A nice big flower patch there. <laughs> so we're going to go over there and probably spend the night. We've got some hilly mountains there. We've got a big forest down here. Very patchy over here. I think that's clay right there. So first things first, maybe we should mark this down. Blue clay, we'll give it that symbol, at uh, that colour and that symbol. We'll save that. I think this brown patchy stuff here is peat. So let's mark that as well. Why not? I think it's peat. It could be forest flooring, but we'll see when we get there. Okay, all these green specks here, they could just be bushes, but they could be uh, berry bushes as well. So maybe we should go over there and check that out. That's how far away is it? Oh, we could, uh, we could go around here and go and check those out. Is there any nearby? Oh, looks like a fruit tree there. Yeah, and there's some more clay there. Let's just put clay, because I don't know if that's blue clay or fire clay. So we'll just give that a white dot for now. Looks like there's some more peat there. So mark that down too. Like so. There's, there's some more clay here. I think that is actually fire clay. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, now we can have a good look at this at night time, but at least we can see where we want to settle down for the night. Let's get up on our feet. We've got some things to do. First thing we need to do is find some flint because we're not going to be able to do much without any tools. And uh, ooh, I see berries. We'll, we'll take that bush as well. Yeah, so you uh, Vintage Story veterans know that the f number one thing to do is find flint, so that's what we're going to do. And we're going to try and make uh, a flint knife so that we can collect these things here, these cattails. We need loads of these. And we need these to expand our inventory, because right now we don't have any inventory at all. We just have our hot bar here. So with these cattails we can make hand baskets and we can make four of them and put them into these slots and each hand basket gives you three inventory slots so with four baskets we should get like two rows of inventory going on here. So, oh, I, we found copper already. I'm going to mark this down. Copper, yeah. So you get surface ores. A lot of the other ores in the game are deep in the earth, and they can only be found deep in the earth, but you do get some surface ores like copper, lead, quartz, tin. If you're lucky to find tin on the surface, that is. I have before. So, uh, yeah, we'll have to keep our eyes peeled out for surface ores. Okay, we've got some flint on our belt. Now we need sticks because we can't make these tools without sticks. So let's, let's go and run over here because I think I can see some bushes. Yes. Okay, we've got chickens. Yes, let's go and mine some of these bushes. Oh, more berries. Nice. 
Now you get leaves and you get branchy leaves. Uh, the branchy leaves always give you a stick. I think these these leafy leaves <laughs> sometimes give you a stick. I'm not I'm not too sure. Let's go ahead and punch all these. Okay, that'll do. Now let's make a knife. I'm going to plop a bit of flint on the floor and it brings up some choices here. We can make spear heads, shovel heads, knife blades, a hoe, uh, an axe head and some flint arrows. But we need a knife blade. So this is called the napping system. If you hold the alt key down you can freely move your cursor and it's just easy to, to nap. And we're going to cut out a knife shape like so. I'm going to pick that up, put that in our crafting menu, put a stick there and create a knife. There we go. Okay. Oh, more berries. Nice. Okay, now I see cattails everywhere and I'm going to need to get all of these. I may even collect some of the roots just so that we've got something extra to eat tonight because I don't fancy starving to death on my first day, so... <laughs> okay, so let's uh, go ahead and collect some cattails. And, uh, when I've mined all these, I'll be back with you folks. And there we go. Oh, there's one. Oh, two more left. So I've got over a stack now. So I've got more than enough to uh, make these hand baskets now. So let's get onto the land here, Ugh. bring up the crafty menu, grab a stack here and just go like that and plop these down right here. Yes, there we go. We've still got some left over as well, nice. So I'm going to put those in our inventory, put those roots in there and those berry bushes and uh, almost used our knife and it, it's getting dark already. Oh, the sun's going down. Right, the next job we need to do is gather some soil. But I'm going to make my way over to here if I can. In fact, let's get some soil now. Because the faster we get the soil, we can just build straight away when we find somewhere suitable. Or we just build a little dirt hut right here uh, for now and then move in the morning. We'll see, we'll see. Let's grab about a stack of this stuff. We also need to collect some grass so we can make a bonfire, because otherwise it's going to get really, really dark. You guys aren't really going to be able to see much, so... Okay, let's just grab some grass here. Could we're making a bed as well. Just so we've got something to sleep on. Okay, we need another knife. There we go. Alright. I think we're just going to build a dirt hut here. It doesn't have to be anything fancy. It's just for the night, so... <laughs> you can't beat a good dirt hut. Okay, now that we've got that done, we need to make an axe and try and get some uh, some wood to start a fire. And then during the night we can talk about a few things. Okay. Now these trees take ages to chop down. 
and we need a smaller tree but this is the only trees we have available so I don't know how far we're gonna get chopping one of these um, there's a smaller tree up there okay let's just pillar up Okay, here we go. And just like that we have some wood and we've got some extra sticks too. Alright, let's get back to our dirt hut and start a fire. Alrighty. So to make firewood out of these logs, you just put those in your crafty menu like so. You do that. We don't need these vines, we'll just plop that there. Okay, so we've got a grass. So I'm going to put some grass on the floor. I know you can't see very well, folks. I'm trying to be as quick as I can. <laughs> just like that. There we go. There's our firewood. Get some wood on, on to fire. And then light it up. There we go. Wow, that was quick. Wow, that was the quickest I've ever lit a fire with one of these uh, fire starter sticks. There. I'm gonna chuck all that wood on the fire. I'm gonna cook these uh, these roots here, these cattail roots. While they're cooking, let's see how many torches we can make. Let's make three torches for now. We'll save uh, the rest of these materials here. Right, can we make any hay bales? We can make two. Let's see if we can get a bit more grass. Do we have enough now? Yeah, okay. So you make a bed just like so. I go in here, plonk it down on the floor. And we're going to barricade ourselves in like that. Alright. Now while they're cooking away, let's talk about the mods that I've got selected in this playthrough. I've chosen three mods. One of them is the HUD clock, so it gives you a window of information up here and that uh, shows you the temperature, the date and the time, the wind uh, strength and the rift activity. Now you can press uh, C, which brings up your character inventory here, and you can see the, the temperature the rainfall, the rift activity there, but it's just a lot easier while you're walking around, jumping around, to just glance at the screen and see that. I wish that was in the base game, and it's it's pretty handy. It even uh, gives you a symbol here, if you're in a room like this that's enclosed with blocks, you get a room buff. And it's the same with cellars as well. Because you can make cellars in, in this game and store your food in your cellar. And it makes your food last a lot longer. Because a lot of food in this game is perishable. Like these berries, for example. Which will perish in 3.7 days. But if I stored those in a cellar, that will increase that uh, perish time uh, quite significantly. So, Yeah, it's very handy mod that. I recommend using that mod. Another mod I'm using is the carry-on mod, and that makes us able to carry containers. We can pick them up, put that there. Normally you can't pick containers up, but with this carry-on mod, you hold crouch and hold right-click, you can pick it up. And if you hold crouch and hold right-click again, you can put it on your back. How cool is that? <laughs> a 
Now you can't see it when it's on your back. The only way to gain access to it is to hold crouch, hold right click, put it in your hands, plop it down on the floor like so and then you can access it. So you can put stuff in there and then pick it up and put it on your back. It's like an extra backpack. Okay. We'll wait for this one to cook and then we'll get our torches on the uh, on the fire there. Okay, let's grab those, take those off. Put our torches on there, there we go. And another mod I've uh, chosen to use is, is the Better Ruins mod. In this game you get a lot of ruins dotted around the world. Well, this better ruins mod adds even more ruins to the world it doesn't replace any of the vanilla ruins it just adds extra ones there so that will give us some uh, some more places to find and visit and ruins are pretty cool if you find a ruin they often contain storage vessels uh, and you get different kinds of storage vessels so it's always good to keep an eye out for ruins for those treasure vessels. Can't wait to see what kind of ruins we come across with this better ruins mod. Okay, while they're cooking away, let's gobble down some of these berries actually. Because they're just gonna they're gonna perish soon. I'm gonna eat to a full. There we go. We've got one berry left. <laughs> Wow, these cooked cattail roots perish in two days. Huh. Maybe I should have eaten those first, but hey-ho. So, let's put some stuff in this crate here, like those bushes. And we don't really have a lot else uh, to put away right now, but uh, when we pack up and leave in the morning, we can take some of this stuff with us and put it in that box and put that on our back. So let's put those in our inventory there. So let's have a good look on the map now. Now we found some peat which is great. There's different kinds of fuels that uh, you can use in the game. I think there's more peat there, wow. I usually struggle to find peat in this game but this time around we've, we've been blessed. Thank you Lord. Okay, we've got three, three locations where there is peat. That's amazing. <laughs> I don't think we'll be going up here anytime soon. <laughs> but that is a big lake. Wow. There's more peat there as well. Are you kidding me? It, it, all this can't be peat, surely. But we're going to find out. We're going to find out when we need it. We go out going to get some, we're going to visit these locations and see. I think that's fire clay. Now there's two types of clay. You get blue clay and fire clay. Blue clay looks like a creamy grey colour. I don't know how well you'll be able to see the colours on this map uh, from the YouTube compression. And if I get them both in the same window here, so blue clay is like a grey colour. And fire clay is like a, a creamy yellow colour, so this this is definitely fire clay. Yeah, fire clay and blue clay, they're pretty much the same, but you get an extra two recipes with uh, the fire clay. You know when we put a piece of flint down, we get those recipes of uh, things that we can make. Well, when you place clay down, you get the same thing, but it's a bigger window of more things that you can make. And it uses the same system, the, the napping system. Okay, wow, these take ages to cook, don't they? While that's cooking, what time is it? 12 o'clock. Let's go to sleep. I'll see you in the morning. Ah, a nice fresh sunny morning. It's half past eight in the morning. 
I cooked the rest of the cattails, so there's nothing on this fire now. I've put my bed and my fire starter in, in the box here, and the rest of the firewood that we had. Made a couple of spears and a fresh shovel. So let's uh, go ahead and pick this up. Hoist this on our back, like so. And we are going to make our way over to here and uh, on our way we're going to try and do some hunting and foraging at the same time and we're going to try and uh, build a place here so if I make a marker here I'll call this flower field <laughs> I don't know and we'll give it Where's the flower symbol? Don't we have a flower symbol? Okay, we'll just choose a star. We'll choose the white and we'll pin it that way. If you, if you look here, you can see it there. We're going to navigate towards that star. Oops. Don't want to throw my spears away. Should we take some of this dirt with us as well? There we go, took the whole thing down. Alright, let's get a move on. Now I hear thunder, so it's trying to rain on us. I'm keeping my eyes out for rabbits. What's this? Quartz. <laughs> now quartz is pretty much everywhere. You, you, you shouldn't struggle to find quartz, so there's no point marking this. Because there's a lot of caves in the game. Uh, and a lot of the caves, they contain quartz, so... Is there any branch of leaves here? Yes, there is. We want these sticks. Definitely need those sticks. Wow. What a beautiful game. Kind of looks like that uh, that other block again. <laughs> wow, this is a very branchy bush. I'll be taking all these sticks, please. Thank you. That'll do. Okay, maybe a couple more. Okay. If we see any rabbits, we're going to have to hunt them for the meat because uh, we could do with as much food as we can get our hands on. And uh, there, there's predators in this game as well. Wolves, bears. So we don't want to get ambushed by those guys. <laughs> oh, carrots. I'm going to mark this. You get a lot of wild vegetables. We can come back and get this kind of stuff later. We need to keep moving. Oh, I didn't even see that rabbit there. Yeah, he's gone. Want that, those berry bushes though. here as well. Go! It's adventure time! Oh, nearly fell down that hole. There, we're going to mark this. I'm just going to right click, choose that and press save. We can do some uh, caving another time. So this is definitely wolf and bear country so we're gonna have to be really careful going through this stuff. Oh tool! Wow! We can make thatch roofing out of this stuff and what's this? Spelt? Oh I'm gonna mark this. Tool. Go green. I 
I don't see any rabbits, but it is difficult to see uh, in all this grass. Another cave. Let's just have a neb. Oh, it looks like a dead end. It does look like it. Give us some. No, it's a dead end. Yeah. A lot of the caves, they have quite a few dead ends in them. Oh, red berry bushes. Yeah. Taking them. Pick up this flint as well. Oh, there's loads of tool here. Wow. Well, looks like for our start home, we're having a thatch roof. <laughs> okay, looks like we're here. It looks like there's a bunch of ruins here, though. Let's go and check that out. Maybe able to salvage some of the blocks from these ruins. And black current, black currents too. Wow. Have I got enough room? Yeah, let's take these. <laughs> oh yeah, we can make a vineyard. More red currants. Excellent. Oh, is this a meteorite hole? Let's just have a little look. Nope. Okay. See, these are the uh, these are the, the 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 storage vessels I was telling you about. You get food ones, foraging ones, ore vessels. You get tools, weapons, all kinds of stuff. And this is a food vessel. And because we have the carry-on mod, we can pick this up and move it somewhere else. Usually in the game, you can't pick these up. You can only break them to get the stuff that's inside. But uh, that's pretty neat. There's a few of these blocks. There's a whole block there. There's a few blocks there. Maybe we can build some kind of starter home out of these. And there's plenty of stones and we've got access to clay so we can make some cobblestone blocks. There's another vessel here. Is this an ore vessel? Ooh. Nice. Another one here too. A tool vessel. <gasps> oh. I don't want to break these open yet until we've uh, we've got a, a building to live in. But wow, we, we can we can come back to these and, and and check them out. Okay, okay. Let's get up to the top of this and have a good look. Wow, look at all this open space that we have here. I, th I think this this will be a good spot to live. I think. Yeah, I'm going to have to desecrate these ruins and salvage the uh, materials to make our building. But uh, maybe we can build on there. Just so it's a few blocks off the ground. That might give us some more depth to make a, a cellar. Yeah, yeah. Let's uh, let's go on over to there and have a gander. Oh yeah, this this is enough space for a house, definitely. And we've got more berry bushes over there. Yeah, I, I think we're gonna live here, guys. Oh, we've got some wild turnips. Oh, there's a there's a trader there as well. What bonus! It's right next to our house. Let's go and see what what type of trader he is. Is that is that a rabbit? It is a rabbit. <laughs> well, now it's going to be our dinner, as they say. The meat's back on the menu, boys. <laughs> Yeah, 
Okay, we've got two meter out of that. And you can collect the bones too. And with those bones, you can turn it into bone meal. Or you can make uh, some of the shafts for some of the, your tools, like um, the axes, uh, the knives. I don't think you can use them for the shovels. Okay, let's uh, let's get over here. Ooh, look at this flint. <laughs> What uh, trader are you? Let's have a look. Hello, Ruslan. It's a commodities trailer. Wow. It's one of the best uh, traders, especially, er, uh, especially early on in the game. That was a tongue twister. Let's see what he's got. He's got some alum. Halite stones. Wow. He's got some zinc. He's got some beeswax. Ooh. So the currency in this game is is rusty gears. We don't have any rusty gears to buy anything. But you can also sell stuff to the traders to get some rusty gears. And, uh, yeah. Some traders you can buy stuff from them and sell to others, like these vessels here. So although we can sell these vessels to him, uh, we can buy them from another trader for cheaper and come to this guy and sell them to him for a profit. Now if you choose the Malefactor class, you can harvest these storage vessels that you come across and you can get a chance of uh, collecting them. But our carry-on mod doesn't allow us to pick these up and come over here and sell them, so... Wow, excellent. See you later, Ruslan. <laughs> uh, every few days or so, they replenish their uh, trades. So it's always good to keep an eye on them. Alright, there's another rabbit over there. But you know what, we've got some building to do, so... Let's just grab all these. Oh, we have another cave. Let's just mark this. Like so. There we go. We're not going down there. No way. Not yet, anyway. Oh, wow. What a good start. We found pea. We found clay. Both types of clay. We found tool which is awesome because that saves us having to make shingles out of clay to make our roofing for the house we can just make thatch roofing that's brilliant we've got a wide open space we've got a good collection of berry bushes and it looks like we've got some flax here too wow you can't ask for a better start so i'm going to make a little dirt hut probably over here just in case I don't have enough time to build our starter home uh, and then I've got somewhere to sleep for the night so I'll get this built I'll mine down some of these and then uh, I'll go out and get some clay and then I'll get back to you guys in a bit Alrighty folks, the night rolled in faster than I expected. I didn't have time to go out and get clay. But can you hear that noise? We have growly boys outside. Don't worry, they can't get in. We're quite safe in here. But there's a rift nearby. I don't know if you can hear it. over there somewhere so I came straight in here and now I put this rabbit meat on the fire and I sealed myself in with some hay bales it's only 20 past 8 <laughs> All the storage vessels that were over there in the ruins, I brought them over and I stacked them along the side of the house 
So soon we'll open those together and we'll see what we can get out of them. Um, I dug this layer of dirt here and I've turned it into packed soil and I put it on the floor. That'll just stop the grass from sprouting in, inside here. Uh, if I light the campfire I don't want it to set the grass on fire and then and burn stuff. So uh, let's have a sit down and let's have a look at the map shall we? Let's have a good long look at the map while we're waiting. So like I say I can dismantle the ruins here uh, to get all the stones and then if I gather some clay I can turn those stones into cobble uh, blocks and then we can build our starter house out of that. And if I make some axes we can uh, go and get some wood. Uh, we can go and get this tool uh, it's just so that we've got a roof for our house. And there's a trader under the tree. We did go over there so we're going to label this guy. I'm going to call him Commodities Trader. There we go. Uh, we'll label our dirt hut here as well, and we'll just call it just call it home, but we'll pin that. Okay, now what else have we got? All these little green specks here, they could be wild crops or berry bushes. Uh, or just leafy bushes. Yeah, there's some more clay there. I think that's fire clay. That's that's nice. We've got some uh, clay nearby. I don't have to go too far away. So we'll just label that. I'll pin that because I'll go there in the morning. <laughs> now we do need some more cattails as well because uh, we need to make some more of these storage crates here just so that we can put stuff away. Sorry about those growly boys, guys. We can't sleep too early because this hay bed will only allow us to sleep for up to seven hours. Uh, yeah. Glad we found a little bit of copper. Hopefully, we'll find some more deposits on the surface and then soon uh, we can get into the copper age. Alrighty guys, you know what, I think I'll meet you all in the morning. Wakey wakey, eggs and bakey. It is morning and look, all the growly boys have, are walking away. And look, we have a rift right near our house. It, it always happens. <laughs> So at night time these spawn those growly boys, they're called drifters. And uh, you'll notice here is a blue cog, that is our sanity. It's full right now, we're 100% sanity. But if you go near these rifts, or if you go too deep into the earth, or if you go into unstable areas, you start losing your sanity. So watch what happens when I get close to this. See, look how fast my cog is spinning. Look at this. Mental. <laughs> wow, we lost a big chunk of our sanity there, but it does replenish. As you can see, my cog's spinning clockwise now, so my sanity is going back up again. But that what you saw there in the sky, you get temporal storms, and that's what happens during a temporal storm. <laughs> Alrighty now, I've got some work to do, so we need some more cattails for storage boxes, I need to get some clay, and then I need to break these blocks down and turn them into usable blocks, and then chop some wood, and then we can start building a house, so that's all kind of boring stuff, you don't want to watch me have to do all that kind of stuff guys, so... I'll see you all in a bit when I've got this done. Uh, guys. 
Look over there. <laughs> There's a bear prowling around and he's getting dangerously close to our house. And over there somewhere, I did see another one. It looks like he's going away now. That's good. But he's over there now, that tool, and I need that stuff. I'm going to keep my eye on that bear. But I think we're going to have to build a bear pit. So we can lead it to us, get it to chase us uh, over to the bear pit and then we can try and kill it. Because they take so many hits to kill. Alright, what I've got going on here is I'm building some pit kilns. Because during the night I did a little bit of clay farming. And I made uh, two storage vessels, a bowl, four crock pots and a cooking pot. Just going to place these down in here. Don't worry for those that don't know vintage. I'm going to do some more clay farming soon and I'll uh, I'll show you how to do it. So pop those in there like that. Get some grass. Taking my eyes off that bear. <laughs> I'm putting some packed dirt around here just to stop the grass from growing uh, near these fires. We can't live here with that bear. We're going to have to sort that out. Sticks. I'm going to need more sticks for this. Yeah, that's all good. It's all good. In fact, I'm not going to put firewood on it, I'm going to put peat on there. Where was our peat deposits? All the way down there. Um, okay, this time around, I'm just going to use firewood. It's better I start lighting these now while I'm working. There we go. That'll take a good number of hours before they'll be ready. And when I went over there to get some clay, I did find another ruin. I brought back the storage vessel that was over there. So we've got a food, a forage, a tool, and another food. So that will give us something to go through later. Let's put the rest of this firewood down. Alright. Alright, I've got more work to do. I'll see you in a bit then. Alrighty folks, I have finished our starter house. What do you reckon? That took so much tool, you would not believe. Oh man, so I'm never building a roof out of thatch ever again. <laughs> I think the next time I'll use shingles. But uh, yeah, here we go. We've got some uh, claystone cobblestone. We've got some sandstone cobblestone, which I retrieved from some of the ruins uh, dotted around over there. We have used oak logs and some dark mud bricks for the chimney. Uh, that is an ugly sight, isn't it, guys? I know. I know. It's an inventory filling tree right there. <laughs> yeah, we have gazelles in the area. And uh, gazelles are a really good source of red meat. You, you get so much red meat from those. So uh, that'll probably be our main meat source uh, living here. But yeah, there we go. We have a starter house. I think it looks good. I've had to plug up the windows with uh, haystacks because we don't have any glass yet. So uh, I think what we're going to do is just plug up these windows here. Just to give us that room bonus. It'll be a little bit dark but we've got 
we've got some torches. We can keep swapping them out, like I say, so they don't burn out. I'll probably put one up there. Now, I did put a crude door down in the doorway here, but I didn't get the room bonus. So, I had to get rid of it. I think I put it in here. Yeah, it's there. So, we're just going to have to use a haystack door until uh, we get some proper tools and I can uh, use a saw and make a, a proper door. But, uh, yeah. We should any second get that rune bonus. I don't know why it's not I don't know why it's not coming up now. Usually you get an icon here that comes. That's strange. But anyway, we have a house. Proper house. I can't do much about the ceiling right now because uh, until I get my hands on a hammer and chisel, uh, I, I can't make the ceiling look nice. So we're just going to have to live with... Uh, log beams along there for now. We have a fire pit which I'll decorate this over time like I say when I get my hands on a hammer and chisel we can make some uh, nice window sills and a nice doorway and yeah we'll make it look even better. I've got a four crock pots there, a cooking pot and a bowl ready for making meals and uh, we have our two storage vessels here with our uh, fruit bushes there, which we'll make a vineyard out of those soon. And uh, I forgot about one of the, uh, the, the one of the treasure vessels back there. It was the ore ore vessel here. There we go. So we have five now. So in the next episode, we'll open those and we'll see what we get. There we go. So let's uh, let's go outside. Just have another good look. There we go. I'll sort this land out a bit so it's not so hilly. I've been keeping my eye on that bear, but it seems to have disappeared. Hmm. But I'm not going to trust that. It's probably hiding in a bush somewhere. So uh, I did make a bear pit. It's over here. So if we get that bear to chase us or bears, should I say, we can run, jump up here, and it'll fall in, in the pit there, so, yeah, and then we can sort it out, <laughs> and get some much needed fat, uh, and leather as well, because we need leather, so we can upgrade our uh, hand baskets into leather backpacks, it's gonna be a bit of a process, but until then we need a saw, so we can make some barrels and get some uh, some tannin on the way and a bucket. <laughs> so this uh, this dirt hut is a bit uh, useless now. So I can take this all down. There's nothing left inside. Nothing up the top there. I can move all this. Oh, I did move all the firewood inside. That's good. Wow, doesn't that look so damn majestic? I think that looks pretty good. There's a lot of work though. <laughs> I had to run back and forth many times uh, to build that place, but uh, I'm, I'm rather pleased with that. It'll look nicer with some windows in. But yeah, all the gazelles, they all seem to be over there. There's quite a lot of them. But we can't hunt those with spears because they've got such a long sight range that you can't get close enough a lot of the times to hunt them with spears. So what you need is a bow and arrow. Uh, to deal with those. I did try and make some rope to make a, um, a crude bow but I need some more cattails to to make that bow. Um, I can use flint arrows if we, if we plop some flint down. You can make six arrowheads at a time um, but to make those arrows we also need feathers so I've got to go chicken hunting for feathers uh, to make those arrows. Uh, I'm not going to forget about these ruins because usually in, in ruins some of them have basements and you can find some really cool stuff in those basements. And not only that, but they contain bony soil which you can pan for treasure. And one of these ruins has, has some bony soil. It's around here somewhere. It's probably this one over here. 
in this one? No. There's quite a few ruins over here. But anyway, we'll collect that bony soil and we'll put that to the side and uh, we'll make a, a, a... Oh, there's some bony soil there, look. You can get all kinds of stuff from uh, panning that dirt. That's not the only stuff you can pan, though. You can pan gravel and sand also. So that'll, uh, that'll give us something else to do. But yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm rather pleased with what we've got accomplished. Uh, next time I'll do some more clay farming. Uh, we'll get some uh, some moulds made for a pickaxe head and a hammer and an anvil. Um, out of my travels, I did find a bunch of berry bushes dotted around. That's what these red apples are here. Uh, I found some more caves. And I found a few more deposits of copper. So we've got four there. I think there's one down here. Yeah, there's one down there as well. But the more of that stuff we can find, the better. Because, yeah, we need that copper to get into the copper age <laughs> alrighty but we have peat we have blue clay we have fire clay we've got everything we need around here so I think we'll live around here for a long while and uh, I think we're going to do really well alrighty folks that is the end of the episode if you have enjoyed this episode, be sure to like, share, comment and subscribe. And if you have any questions, leave them down in the comments and I'll do my best to answer those questions in future episodes. And until then, I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.